Hey, Tuna, how's it going? Welcome. Thank you for being a member. Hey, Paige. Hey, Renee. What's up, girl? Thanks for being a member, girl. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Come on in. How are y'all doing? What's up, Patty? Come on in. I got a little surprise, I guess. I don't know. I got some good stuff. This is going to be some really good tips for you folks letting me know that you can't touch your dog's face. Hi, Brownie boy. What, you want me to touch your face, Brownie? You want me to touch your face, Brownie? Huh? You want me to touch your face? <laughs> you touch your face, Brownie? You don't need any grooming like that. You don't need hair cutting. Oh, my goodness. Do you want me to touch your face? You want me to touch your face? <laughs> oh, my goodness. You want me to touch your face? It's, it's you, Saki. We are get oh, oh, you want to get groomed? Do you want to get groomed? Do you want to get groomed, Brownie? Huh? <laughs> oh, my goodness. My cup filleth over. Yes, my cup filleth over. Yes. Okay, come on. We got we, we to get busy here. We got to get busy, Brownie. <laughs> Did you miss me today? You miss me that much? Oh, my. <laughs> Did you miss me that much? I wasn't gone that long. Oh, gosh. Our dogs just love them, don't you? Everyone hear me okay? What's up, YouTube? Everyone can hear me okay? All right. Hey, brownie boy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I got this guy here. Saki. Saki, are you trying to tell me what to do? Huh? You trying to tell me what to do, Saki? <laughs> oh, my gosh. oh, brownie boy. You you want to tell him what's up? Oh, wait, wait. You want to tell him what's up? You want to tell him what we're going to do? You want to tell him what we're going to do? We're going to groom Saki Boo. Hi. Oh, oh. We can't let him know we know how to make out. Yeah, we can't tell him we make out. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Hi, baby boy. Did you miss me today? You sure are attached. <laughs> you sure are attached today. Do you see the camera? <laughs> Do you see the camera? Look. Oh, gosh. It's Brownie. Brownie. Well, you want to look at the camera? Oh, you want to look at the camera? Mm. I'm going to put you down. You're going to want to get back up, aren't you? Are you going to want to get back up? Hmm? Okay, I'm going to put you down, okay? Because I, I have to get to work. Here we go. Come on down. Say, say bye. Say bye, YouTube. Oh, say bye. Oh, you're so precious. Are you just so precious? Mm. Oh, my goodness. Can I just work while? What can I just work while you're hanging out with me? Gosh, look at him. He's just so gosh. Our dogs are so amazing, so amazing, and I'm so grateful. David picked you out, huh? Man, we gotta have David pick out more dogs, right? <laughs> I love you. Yes, I just I just love you. I just love you. I want to just hang out too, okay? But I got to do this. Okay, come down, come down. Here you go. Look, Saki came over like, what? Oh, oh, I told you he's going to jump back up. I told you he was going to jump back up. Oh. Listen, we've got stuff we've got to do. We've got stuff we've got to do. <laughs> you holding my neck. Okay, come here. All right, so you guys, check this out. So many of you guys have written me, oh, and I promised you a video like this. Can I help you? Can I help you, happy boy? Can I help you, happy boy? You're so, so precious. You're so precious, Brownie. It's okay. I'm just, I'll be right back with you, okay? <laughs> it's okay. I'll be right back with you, okay?
<laughs> Seriously, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's get busy. I really want, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you're gonna tell, what? Huh? Okay, I'll focus, I'll focus. My bad, my bad. I just thought you should know he's really staring at me right now. He really, really missed me today. Like, he, he really missed me, like missed me, missed me. I feel you, my friend, okay? Oh, I just, I, I gotta do this. Gotta do that. You go lay down over there and wait for mommy, huh? You go wait for mommy. Tell him wait for mommy, Faith. Tell him wait for mommy. Yeah, go over there and lay down, wait for mommy finish, okay? Okay, go over there and lay down, wait for mommy finish. All right. Hopefully he'll let me focus here. Oh, oh, is it because treats on the table? Okay, Brownie. <laughs> you are so cute. You are so cute. Okay. So Brown does a face like Saki, right? And he's also not really moody and aggressive like some dogs are. I just have to tell you, Saki, I mean, I could see that she might have that, you know, Dee Dee's blood where she'd be like, doesn't like to be told what to do. And if you have a dog like that, are you going to sleep? If you have a dog like that, then how are you going to brush its face? And so I get that email a lot, right? And even though there's tons of videos on aggressive dogs, me grooming aggressive dogs, me having help grooming an aggressive dog, I understand what you might be thinking, like, what do I do? So even though there's going to be a video coming out for you, that's going to be a daily step-to-step -step on what to do if you can't touch your dog's face, it doesn't start on the table. The practice and everything actually starts before you bring your dog to the table, okay? And I don't know if you can tell, but he's basically gotten into this real like lay down position. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, whatever works. So I'm gonna tell you the steps out loud while he's snuggling. <laughs> I'm gonna, okay, just, sorry, just bear with me. Really? Okay, I'll, I'll, get to, I'll get to talking. Hit that like button if you're happy. I'm bringing this footage to you. Just hit that like button. We're at 24 likes, 75 watchers. Hit that like button, let me know. You're happy I'm here. First things first, exercise. Yeah, yeah, I said it. Something so simple that you and I both need, including our dogs, okay? So exercise. Now, Dee Dee, my dog is so wild on the table doing bro what are you doing <laughs> my dog is so wild on the table i cannot touch her face right okay first thing i'd have done we would it depends on what time of day but plan it okay plan it you are gonna go walk your dog really this is embarrassing man this is not embarrassing. I'm saying that, but it's so cute, isn't it? He's just, you're just so, you're just so cute. I could just fall in love with you. I could just fall in love with you every day. Okay. <laughs> How can you focus, man? How can you focus with this? Oh my gosh. Are you just trying to look out the window? Are you using me to look out the window? Oh my goodness, and Saki is so J-E-A-L-O-U-S over there. All right, so can I get back to the point? If your dog won't let you touch his face, right? Aggressive, can't trim it, can't wipe the boogers out, all that stuff. Then what you need to do is you need to set a routine. And that routine is daily, a daily routine. Yes, I know, yeah, I gotta get off the couch, yep. Got to get out of bed. Yep. You got to wear some clothes. Yep. Maybe, you know, I had one lady, she's like, maybe I shouldn't have groomed my dog on my bed. <laughs> there was hair everywhere. And that might be true. Okay. But only you are going to find out. Oh, go check it out. Go check it out. Go, go, go check it out. Only you're going to find out. If you groom your dog on, if, I don't know what you're doing, but if you lay a little, if you don't lay a blanket, a towel down, you're going to find out there's prickle hair everywhere. Okay. So I love you too, Brownie. So this is the deal. My dog won't let me touch its face, right? 
exercise. Okay. You, you need exercise and let's just say I'm not your veterinarian and I'm never claimed to be a veterinarian. Okay. But there are things that a groomer has to do that really borderlines that whole, like, do I not clean your dog's ears? Do I not pluck the ear hair? No, I do all those things. So to, to lie to you and say, we don't do all those things, but it's really close to the kind of care that, sorry to say, I've been, I've remember that one lady six years ago, four years ago, she came through and, um, she came back two days later and I got the ear hair because her veterinarian wouldn't do it. Who knew that? So there's some things here that I am going to tell you that kind of borderline that, but by all golly, oh, I'm not your veterinarian. If you want a veterinarian's advice, if you need a veterinarian's advice, please, by all means, they spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to go to school to be a veterinarian, but please go to them. Okay, book a, book a veterinarian consultation. But let me just say, not all veterinarians are the same individual. Just like not all doctors are the same and not all lawyers and not all groomers are the same. You might actually take something that Didi said and just ask, hey, this is what Didi said. What do you think about that? And they might give you an answer and they might shut it down, right? But how about this? There's more than one way to do something. And then sometimes I have seen a dog that has been chronic ear problems and something that we do together fixes it. But they were going to the vet for six years with chronic, or 10 years, 15 years, chronic ear infections. And it's like, you've been going to the vet like monthly for this for years. Why, why is the products not working for you? So I'd already changed vets, no offense. I would already changed veterinarians, but I'm not your veterinarian, but I am here to help you help me help your dog have a better grooming experience. Whatever that is, whether it's with you, with me, or with your current groomer, or you're about to start doing this yourself because say COVID 19 is here, your budget's cut quite cut quite low, uh, you're on social security only, you know, all these different factors that come into play. Okay. Um, 44 of you guys out there, hit that like button if you're happy. If I'm here and bringing this content to you. So the next thing I want you to know, first thing was exercise. The next thing is time. You have got to take the time to train your dog. Yep, training. Just like you trained your dog, if you ever did, to sit. And just like you trained your dog to lay down. You know how fast it was? How fast was it for you guys? I know about me. To train Saki to use the doggy door, it took less than an hour. To train Brownie to walk on a leash at in the middle of the night, because that's what time we rescued him, it took three minutes, less than three minutes. To train Faith how to be kenneled, that took a while because she was uh, she was um, running the streets for like two like a year. She was one year old when I rescued about one year old when I rescued her. So to train Faith to get kennel trained, it took uh, three days. It took Faith to come to me. It took like four hours to train her to come to me. So if I said come here to get her to come to me because I took her to the dog park. And let me tell you, for 30 minutes, I just walked around. I did, couldn't run to chase her, but I had to walk fast and try to, I was like calling her and she would just keep going, calling her, keep going. I was like, heck no, we are not gonna go to the dog park. This was back when I would go to the dog park. This is years ago, like 10 years ago, nine years ago. I was like, I am not gonna chase my dog around like a freaking idiot, me, the dog groomer, you know? with controlled dogs. I'm not going to chase my dog around the dog park. Look at, come here. I was like, come here, Faith. Come. I was like, if we were at home, I'd be yelling, but I didn't want to yell like that there. Okay. A bunch of people there, a bunch of strangers. They don't know who I am. And I was like, I am not going to yell. Faith. I was like, I'm not going to do that there. But I was like, this is crazy. So we got home that night and for like three or four hours, all I did was treat. She got to lick it. And I tapped my, I tapped my knee. Okay, Brownie, that's the last time I'm picking you up. You can go lay down over there. Oh, you need help over there because I put books in the way? Here, I'm going to help you out. Here, there you go. No, no, you go lay down over there. You go lay down over there. Give mommy time to talk. Like, this is wasting my time here. I'm taking too long now. Stay. My point is, is that you have to, tr second, right? First, exercise. Second, train your dog. Now, the training, I want you to give yourself realistic goals. And in my mind, it's 30 days, okay? 30 days, and I want you to be consistent. If you fail, guess what? 31 days. If you fail again, 
32 days, but you have got to take the time. I mean, it's you and your dog. You have got to take the time to get either out of bed, off the couch, in between getting home from work and feeding the kids or feeding the kids first and doing this little 10 minute, 15 minute exercise. Okay. And it wouldn't hurt for you to get a walk in your routine anyway. I mean, I really had to reevaluate how busy I was and what I was putting as a priority and it sure as heck wasn't my own body and my own health. So I'm not saying I can always take my dogs on a walk, but try. And especially if you have a dog with an aggression problem, I need you to try harder, harder than me, because I don't have to work these kinks out of my dogs. My dogs are good. They may not love their nail trim as they got older, but I'm going to tell you a secret right now. When your dog starts to really get old, there's nothing you can do to, there's just, there's a point, there's a difference between I'm the boss and I'm getting old. And as I get old, there's just things that are going to happen, blind deafness, that are going to just create how that dog acts and feels. That you can't do anything about that. But you can have kind of tried to do this training thing. So once, you know, five, ten years, you've always been doing the face, right? Wash, at least wash in the face, say. You've gotten used to doing the face, and as the dog got blind, it still knows your smell. It still knows the routine. You pull in the chin here, whatever, touching the ears. It isn't like all fresh and new. It might be really difficult for you to do this if your dog is 16, 15, 18, okay? So a couple things again. What did I say? Number one was, you guys go. What was number one? What was number one? in getting your dog to allow you to touch its face. There's, what was number one, you guys? Exercise. Yes, exercise. Thank you, Patty. Number one is exercise. My dog won't let me touch his face. Okay, we're going on a walk. We are, we're gonna go on a walk. What's number two? What is number two? I forgot my dang self. What's number two? Do we have to rewind this? Number one is exercise. Number two is consistency in training. We got to do this consistent training. And I'm about to show you what that consistent training looks like. Okay. And then number three is actually doing the, doing the work, doing the face, whether that be touching the face, um, stroking the face, brushing the face, trimming the face. Okay. So three things. Yeah, rewind. Number one exercise. Number two, do it consistently. This is going to be consistent training. Number three, actively doing the face. You can start off by doing a few things and I'm going to show you what those are right now. But if you can't wash your dog's face, then put that as one of the steps. Okay. I get to touch my dog's face. I get to brush my dog's face. I get to wash my dog's face. I get to use a flea comb on my dog's face. I get to trim my dog's face. So those are all the things that I want you to know how to do after you do this consistent training, okay? So one thing I do wanna mention, there's like a clause here that I need to be, to share with you. Now I am not you and I'm not your vet and I'm not your vet, veterinarian and I'm not your groomer per se and I don't live with you and I don't touch your dog and I don't know your dog and I've never looked at your dog, I hardly look at you, right? So you can't, throw a curveball at me and say, well, you told me to walk my dog for 15 minutes. Now it's your fault he had a heart attack. No, you can't do that. What you can do is, you know that disclaimer on every freaking bottle of Slim Fast, it says, consult your physician first. What you need to do is understand your dog's health. So Saki, she's like eight, nine years old. Might be even, I might be behind on it because I don't like to remember their age. I don't want to remember their age like that. I don't want to remind myself, oh, she's 10. I don't want to have that feeling. She's like nine or 10 and I know Saki, we could go on a walk and I start to watch her and depending on how hot it is here in Texas, 104, 101, 110, I'm not going outside that day, 100, 90, 98, 89, I, I can see her body when I walk her and I can feel my own. If I'm extreme, if I can't, if, well, I do more exercise than my dogs, right? So more long exercising. So I could take Saki out there and I probably wouldn't walk her for one hour on the first day of never walking her. I wouldn't do that to my dog. I wouldn't do that to my mom or my sister or myself. So I would challenge you to know your dog. 
So if you don't know your dog, then you can talk to your veterinarian just like you would your, yourself. Hmm, I haven't rode a bicycle in 15 years. Let me go try to do five mile, a 5K. No, that's not what you're going to do. You're going to listen to your body, and if you start to get wore out, you're going to stop, get off, and turn around and walk back, right? You're not going to push yourself until you pass out. But your dog's not going to look at you and tell you, hey, I haven't done this walking thing in like three years. Don't push it. I'm going to pull my back. He's not, he or she's not going to say that to you. So when I say exercise, when I'm on the phone with an aggressive dog, I actually ask them how much exercise do you usually have now, right? And when you get here, I really want you to do some exercise. And when you, before you leave, I want you to do exercise. And if I've gotten a hold of you three or four days in advance, I'm going to say, start today. Do a two, three minute walk outside. Go outside, go down there, turn around, come back. The next day, go outside, go a little further, turn around, come back. And then on the day of the groom, if you haven't been doing a lot of exercise, at least that day you have built up a little bit of a routine. Okay. Am I making sense? Would you take your 90 year old grandma or mom on a two mile hike or two mile walk when she hasn't worked out or walked in like say eight years? Would you do that? Yes or no? No, you would not take your 90 year old grandma or mom on a two mile walk when she hasn't went walking in eight years you will i'm sorry i'm sorry you she might be like honey i can't come on mom come on <laughs> no no okay so know your dog's limit however it and this goes for you groomers out there that have that dog i mean that one of the conversations is going to be like okay i don't know what how much exercise you're doing now but i could tell you right now doing some exercise before the groom always helps on an aggressive dog or a wild dog or hard to handle dog or whatever the dog that doesn't like to be groomed okay so exercise consistency in the training and then the actual job you need to do so this is going to take time and how many of you heard how long this, I said, be realistic about your goals. How many days did I give you guys to complete this job? Oh my gosh, the doggy Benji, you want a gift. The doggy Benji, thank you for listening and answering like this. Doggy Benji, I need your name, your address, your email, your phone number, and you email me at D-E-D-E -D -E underscore G-R-O-O-M-S at yahoo.com and let me know what kind of dog you have and if you are or are not a groomer. Okay, you get a gift. Thank you for being fast and efficient and listening and on the point, man. Who? Does she? Da. Doggy Benji got a free gift. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Some of you guys did answer a little slower, but you got it. Renee, I saw your answer. Good job on answering. 30 days. Be realistic. But I'm going to tell you right now, if my Saki can learn how to use a doggy door in minutes, your dog can learn how to do the face thing in very short amount of time. But I don't want you to give up. I want you to push for the 30 and I want you to be consistent because consistent creates a habit and the habit creates good behavior. And then boom, you're going to be able to trim in 30 days. Okay. If you do what I tell you to do. Now, if you get lazy and if you get weak or you get like forgetful, then you got to start back on the number. Okay, you're on 10th day. You missed a day. Guess what? You're on 10th day again. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to show you some tools. These are some tools that are of all different price ranges. Okay. And you will start to see. I'm going to show you the difference and you will see, oh, that's going to be a little cheaper. Well, look at the quality. It's a tiny bit different, but I still have them. Okay, here, let's look together. Some things that I think you're going to need is if you are doing it on your bed or on a table of your own and you don't have this thing called a table arm, this thing right here, this table arm. Okay, and see how this gap is right here? You might need to say, Dee Dee, how, uh, here's my table. Will it fit on that lip? It might not fit really well. And table arms are really hard to come by right now, so if you need one, call me. You don't need a table arm to do this, but you will need a good color and leash, or you will need a simple 99 cent, what I call, simple lead. Now, all this stuff, of course, you can find at myfavoritegroomer.com, okay?
Table arm will help, but it's 60 bucks or 70 bucks, depending on if they're out of stock right now. You don't need it, but let me tell you, if you're going to be grooming your dog at home a lot, it's great to have for your, if you, it depends on how thick, you know, how thick it is here for that clamp to go on. It depends on how thick your tables are. Put it on your island or your desk or your, you know, something like that, okay? Because I have a grooming table here and not everyone has a grooming table, all right? So a simple lead, okay? That's if you don't have a table arm and you don't have a groom loop. So this is an 18 inch groom loop, okay? I'm gonna show you kind of what I mean with a simple lead, but it would be really good if you had some kind of more control. I'm gonna use a brush that's not essential right now. That's not the step we're at. But in the 30 days, a brush is gonna help. Comb, it's not essential right now. What really is, is getting, the first step of training is getting your dog used to you touching the face. Treats are a big deal. They may not eat the treat on the table while you're working with them, but you are going to let that dog lick the treat, okay? Whatever their favorite treat is, is going to work best, okay? I have some different, and I have my aggressive, what I call is my aggressive face tool. If you have a tool that looks like this, you are welcome to use it. If you want to pick up one of these, my favorite color, if you haven't could tell, is aqua or ocean. All the colors are blue, which is why I've got all this blue stuff out here. <laughs> blue comb. Blue aggressive face tool, blue earrings, blue nails, blue bracelet. Okay. Now, here's the different types of blenders that I have. Okay. There's a lot more, but here's the ones I would use on the face. This is the more expensive one. And this is a 40 tooth by Anvil. Okay. Anvil has allowed me to discuss their personal life a little bit. And I can tell you, she is struggling with her husband's health. And I have support Anvil 100%, along with some other companies that I love. And I know that she's spent million, uh, almost $2 million on medical bills. And so when I shop with Anvil, if I buy an Anvil product, I know 100% it's going real. It's going to a great company that I, I really enjoy working with and I believe in, and I love, and I can just tell you, I just feel my heart goes to that family, and I'm really glad to support them as long as they have scissors. So when you shop with Anne, will know she's given me permission to tell you guys this, and I'm going to do a whole piece on her and her husband, but they've been through every kind of medical trauma you can imagine, okay? Because cancer, cancer has no opinion. Cancer is not picky. So Anvil will make some different quality products so that they can bring a different price line to you. Now this is the 40 tooth. Okay. I freaking, this is beautiful. I mean, if you hold it and see it and you feel it, you will feel like this is some nice steel. It's really nice steel. And her husband back in the day, now they have, the, they're bigger, they're bigger than they were before. So now they have companies that make it for them. Right. And they still do fine tuning. But he would cut the scissor out of the steel. It's so freaking cool. Isn't that so cool? They are a U.S. company, but some of their stuff is not done 100% in the U.S., but they are a U.S. company in Indiana. All right, so this is the 40 tooth. It's an option. Okay, I have them on myfavoritegroomer.com. Here is your, let me get this right. 40, it's, it doesn't seem like it, right? It's barely, barely a shy difference. But there, see, this seems a little bit more affordable. Looks a little bit different. Feels a little lighter. A little, a little less steel was made. And this is your 42 tooth. A oh, still nice, real nice soft cut here though. Oh yeah, that's nice. Okay, you've got your finger rest here. Let me show you something here if this is going to work. Now, if you are, they do make left-handed um, blenders. These are blenders or thinners, however you want to put it. And this is a right-hand rest, okay? And then this, you could probably still get away with, but it's designed for your right hand. On this one, the 42 tooth, see how straight everything is? Now, did you all know this? On a left-hand cut, the cut of this, this cutter, this is a cutter edge right here, okay? You've got your fine tooth here. Did you all know that this is going to be educational? 
What isn't? All right, this, this cutter here, if you were left-handed, if you're left-handed, raise your hand. Who's left-handed? Anybody out there left-handed? I'm right-handed, but who is left-handed? Y'all can talk, be, uh, let us right-handers know. I'm going to tell you right now. Most scissors in class, in grade school, in kindergarten are designed for right-handed all the way. You had no idea unless you were left-handed that you had to, you had to train your left hand to use a right-handed scissor with a right-handed cutter, which actually sucks. So if you're left-handed, tell me you haven't. Your entire life, Jessica, you have had to use, when you were a little little girl, you had to use right-handed scissors in your left hand. And you probably didn't know until you got older that this edge here, the cutting edge, was designed for a right-hander. Unless you buy a left-handed anything. Left-handed scissor is usually this edge, this cutting edge, this piece is cut a different way. That means the angle of the cutting edge is actually made for a left-handed. This is not. So you could still use this straight, straight, straight. If it's curved and all that, you could still use it too, but it's going to be more difficult. Why? It's going to hurt your wrist here, okay? Because it's not made for a left-hander. But because everything's straight, and when you buy scissors, I'm going to tell you a secret. If you're left-handed, you can buy straight scissors that are right-handed, you're just going to still have that, it's a little bit X, you can't tell, but it's there. You're going to have that extra push because it's not designed with the left-handed cutter. I know this sounds like, this is crazy to you guys, but I got a lesson from Anvil, Barbara with Anvil. She let me, she, me and, she teaches me a lot. If you're going to sell scissors, if you're going to use scissors, it isn't best to understand them. So that's why it's important to get a, which I have a lot. I have a lot of left-handed scissors. Get a left-handed scissor, at least one that's really for your left hand. So you've got a person that you're working with and they have a left-handed and you have a right-handed scissor and they're like, hey, can I have your right-handed, can I use your scissor? And you're like, yeah, sure, but it's, it's right-handed. She's going to know. Most, most people know. But if they only had a actual true left-handed scissor, it would be less hard on their hand. Very minimal, but after time, it makes a big difference. So very minimal difference, but there's just that. You ever use a scissor? Let me, let me go. Saki, I know you're passed out now. I don't think you have any idea that I plan on using you. All right, this scissor here. I think you could watch my hand. I'm actually pulling on it. Watch, I'm pulling. You, watch this. It, it was really hard to open up. Okay, ready? Look, look, I'm straining here. I'm pulling. There was a little like, boom, it finally opened up, right? Watch. One. It finally opened up. You know why? Because it's real dirty in here. It's dirty in there. It's got tape in there and all that. Now watch this one. A lot better, right? Now, these are just basic paper, whatever, scissors, okay? Now, when you have this, this is a right-handed scissor. Look how nice that is. You, you would ne never use this to cut paper. Don't you ever touch my scissors and cut paper with them or tape or nothing. Don't you ever do that. Don't you do it. <laughs> Those of you guys that got that husband's like, give me that scissor. No, don't you touch. No, don't touch my scissors. I have a reason for every scissor I have, and you would not know until you're cutting hair. This is a hair scissor only. If you touch it, you're fired. <laughs> don't touch my scissors. Don't drop my scissors. Don't even freaking, don't put tape on my scissors. Don't even do this crap to my scissors. This is designed, this is, this, that's just none of your business. You just stay away from my scissors. Put a sign that says, stay away from my scissors. Don't touch. But look, nice. <laughs> look, this freaking paper scissor, I'm sitting here like, and look at this, <laughs> right? This is less hard on my finger. It's going to go nice. The quality is very there, very much there, okay? So this is your 40 tooth, tooth, super affordable, super affordable. This is your 40 tooth. You can see a little higher quality, affordable, but more expensive. Now I've got this really cute, but really cheap, inexpensive, 
But it opens nice, right? Teeth are a little different. Look. Gosh, this is turning into an hour. Teeth on the gold are a little bit wider than here. Okay? And quite frankly, I know that I can do the job with this around the face and the muzzle. But I know the quality difference. And I know I'm looking at some different things. There's some, I don't know what they did here. It's interesting, but it's just their style. They cut this little mark on the teeth here. Eh, it's okay. But there's just a little difference. That's why these are really affordable. They're really affordable. Can you get the job done? Yes, you can. On a standard poodle, probably not. I probably wouldn't do that with these. I would, I would want higher quality. Okay? All right. So just for the sake of sake, I got these gold ones to re represent my life with Fortnite, which I, I love gaming with David. And the gold is really big on Fortnite. And I'm like, bling, bling, I got some gold. I only think I have a couple left, if that. I think I have. Yep, I got three golds left online. And if they sell, then I'll buy more. But the pink ones I had, like this, the pink, they're gone. I mean, if you're not watching my site regularly, they're gone. You got to keep checking in. Okay, so what did I say? Face tool, comb, brush, lead, groom loop, arm if you need it, treats. Get these treats. These are treats. Look, if I'm trying to, I'm just trying to be real healthy with my dogs. And Brownie, he cannot have anything chicken. So I'm really, really, really picky. So this is just Vegin. I like the Old Mother Hubbard brand. I have these on my website. I wanted you to know it's a big bag. This is a big bag. Some of y'all, I think, haven't ordered it because you think it's a small bag. This sucker's 20 ounces. This is a lot. Um, what's important to me is that every this is like vegetarian, in my opinion. I, I don't want any, any meat that I can't control that is not a part of their diet. So like whole wheat, because there has to be something like that to keep whole wheat flour. So whole wheat flour, oatmeal, look, the dogs are all running. Wheat bran, cane molasses, carrots, sweet potatoes, apples, canola oil, obviously, to cook with it. You can do that or olive oil. Gr ground flaxseed, parsley, salt, mix, tocoperas, added preservatives, rosemary extract, green tea extract, and spearmint extract. You know I am gonna buy this. This is something I would buy. And I love the fact that there's no meat in it or meat, anything, and I'm happy happy with that because brownie really does not do okay so i have these on my website pick one up and then give those treats out right where you're grooming if you want to do that or do a little baggies and send them home with a pet client or do a bunch of baggies and always give them out when you go places like the bank and stuff like that anyway just that's just a little too much right there that's beyond that's stuff i do you don't have to do all that don't get stressed out okay <laughs> all right saki we're gonna clear our table now this is an idea of what I want you to use, but also here would be day one, and then I'm going to show you what day 30 would look like, okay? Here we go. Let's clear the table. Let's put everything. Put that over there for me, will you? Yeah, you're, you're the best. Put that over there, sweetie. I mean, I know you want to help me. I know, I know. You're, you're the best. All right, put that there. I'm going to keep that on the table. We'll move all this stuff over here. Saki dear, are you getting ready? All right, we're going to open this up. Okay, you guys hitting that like button if you're happy. Hit it, hit the like button, hit the share button, let people know what you're watching. I want those folks who emailed me last week, the other day, a month ago, I want them to have this video at hand. And, and then soon I will come out with the day to day. Like, it's going to be a big deal day-to-day -day video on what to do okay all right let's move this here all right now the dogs want to do what i want them to do so you go lay down over there come on come take this tree come lay down over here come on brownie go over there saki that's not what i needed you to do come over here there you go saki come here girl come here come here that's exactly right come here yeah See, she came right to me. She was ready for that treat. You know what I'm saying? She was ready for that treat. Now, see this? Okay. I'm going to keep an eye on that. Now, if your dog's going to run from you, you could possibly take this lead here. You could possibly take this lead, okay, and go get your dog, okay? And I want you to imagine for just a moment, because this is, 
a different kind of video. This is just a quick live how-to. I want you to imagine, because my dog is not wild and crazy, okay? I want you to imagine that we went on a 15-minute walk right now. We just went down the block, and I've been walking her every day for the last uh, month and a half. Have we, We've been doing a daily walk every month and a half, Saki? Hmm? All right, what's not clear on here? Okay, hold on a second here. Um, bandwidth. Let's do this. Let me know what you got going on. Are you clear now? Clear. Are you clear? Clear. Are you clear, Brownie? Are you guys clear yet? Um, no. Okay, let's take a quick break. It's too fuzzy. Okay, hold on here. Let me do this. Let me come over this way. Maybe, maybe it's the positioning. <laughs> Saki. Let me take a, let me take, hold on, I'll be right back. Let's put you here for a second. Come here, baby girl. Come here, baby girl. You want that treat, don't you? Here. All right. Hit the like button. Yeah. Hit the like button. Yeah. Hit the like button. Yeah. Hit the like button. I say you hit the like button. Just hit the like button, baby. Hit the like button. Just 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 hit the like button. Hit the like button. Just 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 hit the like button. Stretch it out. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. No, it's not my shirt. Hit the like button. I just say you hit the like button. You just hit the like button. Just hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Yeah, hit the like button. Just hit the like button. Woo! Hit the like button. Just hit the like button. Just hit the like button. Just hit the like button. Woo! Hit the like button. Woo! Just hit the like button. Just hit the like button. Just hit the like button. Yeah! Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Just hit the like button. Woo! Hit the like button. Just stretch it out. Stretch out your like button. Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we got some ice. Ice, ice, baby! Oh my gosh, seriously. Like I said, all these personal issues I have. All right, here we go. It could have been a little bit like both. It could have been both. It could have been like. <laughs> Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Y'all were like, that's my shirt. See what a video does? You don't even know what's going on. You cannot assume. You know what I mean? You could say, is it a fish? <laughs> All right, Saki Maggie. I know, I gotta do something, Dottie. I gotta, it's gotta be funny. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Just hit the like button. Woo, just hit the like button. Just hit the like. I've been practicing my like button video, and I got some Jamaican in there yesterday. Just hit the like button, man. Yeah, yeah. Hit the like button, man. Yeah, yeah. Hit the like button, man. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Are you... <laughs> Seriously, man, are you not laughing? I'm so laughing right now. Okay, okay, okay. For real, for real. Saki's over there chilling, man. 
She's ready for this. All right. All right. Here we go. So since I got the lead around Saki's neck already, we are ready to go. I can just pull her into action. Come here, Saki Maki. All right. Imagine we just went on a 15 minute walk. She could probably, she would probably be panting right now, okay? Also imagine this is day one. And two days before day one on the table or on your desk or on your bed, two days, see how she is? She's not acting like a wild, aggressive dog, is she? Okay? Imagine we are on day one. Day one. One. Uno. Day one, but we've already been on three days of 10-minute walks. Maybe the first day was only five-minute walk. So day one of grooming would be the third day, okay? So give yourself some time to get you and your dog walking. She's like, Brownie, it's not your moment here. Leave me alone. <laughs> Brownie's like, Brownie's like, what? Okay, Saki, we're going to get to it. And then we'll close up the feed. One hour, you guys. I'm, I'm on a roll here. Day one, we've already been on one five-minute walk. The next day was one 10 minute walk. The next day was another 10 minute walk. And we are on day one, which is day four, okay? So day one of on the table, okay? So now we are used to the walk. We just got done with our 15 minute walk. We walk in the house, we go straight to your, you've already prepared. We go straight to the grooming table, okay? Now this dog does not like me touching its face, okay? What are we gonna do with that? Well, today, day one, and we're going to do how many, what's the course of action? How many days, you guys? How many days? What's our realistic plan? On the 30th day, I should be able to trim her face. How many days? Did I just say it? <laughs> 30 days. I want you to be able to trim your dog's face after doing all of these things in less than 30 days, or maybe by the 30th day, okay? That's our realistic goal. I opened my bag of treats and she did, she already got a treat for chilling because we had a breakdown with our phone, but we've got our treat. Get your fa dog's favorite treat. Notice I have full control of her, her eyeballs here. Okay. Treat. I'm going to put that on the camera. She's going to look at that. You can look at that Saki. Okay. See, it's there. It's right here. <laughs> it's right here on the camera. She's not sleepy at all. <laughs> it's right here on the camera. Okay, right there. There's your treat on the camera. Good girl. Now, you have got to work with me, okay? She is mesmerized, isn't she? Watch. Do you see the control that just happened? <laughs> okay, just FYI. I'm actually going to put this in my hand, okay? Okay, it's in my hand. Now, I've got this lead on. If you want to try it with just this lead, do it. I have a groom loop on. Look, she's, she's ready for action. Day one. Let's imagine she's biting me. She does not get to lick the treat, okay? She's not biting me, though. So guess what? Good girl. Good girl. Lick that treat. Yeah, lick it. Good girl. Good girl, yes. Good girl, lick. Good girl. You gonna let me... And then you can grab the chin hair here, but I understand you're not going to be able to do that on day one. You got that mean sucker. You're going to be holding this sucker and maybe hopefully you got a groom arm and a groom loop. If not, you've only got this sucker and you're over here trying to slap, the, <laughs> you're over here waddling this around, not slap the dog, but you know what I mean, right? Slap her. Okay. I don't want to hit you here. I'm just going to, right? You just want to, and then there's, right? Your dog is doing that. Correct. I want you to go, no, no, no. Let me touch. Good, right? Lick the treat. Yes, good girl. Good girl, yes. Good girl. This is where I want you to be. And you have to take every day to get there. The dog does not lick the treat if he's attacking your tool, okay? Or you, okay? The dog, if that's happening, because she's not doing this, so just imagine it right here. She's attacking. Ah, no. No. Jerk this go, no. No. She's wondering what the heck I'm talking about, isn't she? Good girl. Good girl. You and your cute little tongue. Good. That's a good girl. 
Yes, that's a good girl. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Lick the treat, right? Lick the treat. Yeah, good girl. Yes, good girl. Yes, good girl. You're wagging your tail, too. Yes, a good girl. Good girl. Let me see. Lick the treat. Good girl. Good girl. Right? Do you see? Can you sit down? Sit. Can you sit? Sit down. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Did you guys see her sit? Did you see? Good. Stay. Stay. Shh. Shh. Sit. No. Don't look at Brownie. He's not going to get it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Brownie's not going to get your treat. Sit. Good girl, lick the treat. Oh, good girl, that. Ah, ah, ah. Sit. Here. Good girl, lick the treat. Stay. 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 Lick the treat. Good girl. Stay. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Sit. 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 Right here, right here. Sit, sit. Uh, you want it real bad? But sit first. Okay, I'll definitely give it to you this time. I know I've been teasing you. Sit down, sit down. Good girl, here. Here, there you go. I'll give, I'll gotta give it to her that time. How many times is she gonna lick it, right? So what I mean though, yeah, just a lick. If you're going to do 30-minute sessions with your dog, you cannot give 30 minutes worth of food. I'm sorry, you can't. So you do the licking, and that really gets them motivated, right? You saw her. She got motivated. But I did need to eventually. She had. She was like, she knows me. She's smart. She's like, look here. Give me some of that treat. Sit. Sit. Something I'm doing, something I'm doing that you can't see is that I use my face, my eyeballs, and I look up and down at her. Good girl, lick, lick it, good girl. <laughs> good girl, stay, sit, 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 sit. Go ahead, sit, sit. I know I'm on my, my tippy toes, I look like an idiot, sit. Good, good girl, I'll give that one to you. Okay, do you know what I'm saying? Okay. Everybody understand where we're at right now? If she's not going to let me touch her face, she doesn't get to lick the treat. If I'm going to tease her with the treat over and over, probably the 10th, 20th time, hopefully your treats are small, you're going to give a little bit. You have to give a little bit. If your dog, look at this level, if we're at this eye level, if your dog doesn't listen, guess what I did? I, I'm up looking at her eyeballs and I'm like, firm, sit, right? Good girl. <laughs> she's like, Dee Dee. You know, mom, I, I have been through some stuff with you, but right now you're you're throwing me complete mixed emotions. <laughs> She's like, you're yelling at I'm I'm doing a demo. Listen. What's that? Uh, li listen, listen, YouTube is here. Here. YouTube is here and they're listening to me, and you're just my guide today. Okay, you're doing everything right. You're doing everything how you should do. And you want to tell them how how we got there? You want to tell them it was exercise, one, two, consistent training, and three, accomplishing the job? Tell them. Tell them that you would not be nine or ten years old right now, right? Tell them. Tell them. You would not be nine or ten years old, inconsistent training, and no firmness, right? No firmness. You wouldn't be that same dog, would you? And you wouldn't be as smart as you are either, would you? No, we exercise you, right? We consistently train you, right? Tell her. You want to lay down? Whoa. Here, lay down. I'll fix that for you. Go ahead. YouTube's listening. Tell them. <laughs> you say it. I already said it a lot. Focus right here. Here's YouTube. Tell them. Exercise. Consistent training. What, what else? Finish the job, right? You had to do it with treats. There was no other way. Your treats really spoke to you, didn't they? Yes, they did. But consistency is key. Remember when I told you how to learn how to get in the kennel, right? 
Remember that? Right? You want to show them how good you're at it? Huh? You're good at a lot of things, aren't you? Because we've been consistent, right? Tell them. <laughs> Tell them. Tell them the truth. Man, you're never this quiet. You're never, you're never this quiet. You want another treat, don't you? I know this game you're playing right now, okay? I know what it is. Mm-hmm. Look at her tail, man. You're so cute. I just love you. You did so good. You did so good. Yes, you did. I just love you. Oh, you just burped? I just love you anyway. I don't care. I just love you. I just love you. Yes, I do. I just love you. Yes. Okay. Now, I don't want to take you guys all through my house and all this and that, but I'm going to tell you one thing right now. If I say kennel, guess what they do? Go to the kennel. And why? It's because it's been consistent. It's been consistent in training and in consistent in my firmness. There's a time for love and have fun, but there's a time to be serious. And one of those things is, is when you are doing your dog's face, I know we're just using the aggressive face tool right now. And the 99 cent simple lead. When you're doing the face, right? You have got to get this going, okay? Before you can get this going, brushing. Okay? You have got to build trust. No pain. You have got to build this trust with this. Because if it's your fingertip, you need to use this with this and treats, okay? You've got to build trust first. Then you're going to start bringing in your equipment. Next time, it's going to be the brush. Is this painful? No. It's freaking brushing her. Am I that? Yeah, that would be pain. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. But digging too hard is going to be definitely painful. No, don't dig too hard. But you need to do the right equipment. I mean, the right strokes. You see how soft it came out? Just like brushing it a tiny bit, right? And so what? We could do this every day, right? 30 days, right? And you will be a pro for the groomer, wouldn't you? You would be a pro, wouldn't you? Yes, you would be, right? Every day, 15-minute walk, this and that, this and that, right? 15-minute walk, consistent training, start low. Start with your face tool, come in with your brush. Next option is going to be scissoring. Those of you guys who just got here, make sure you smash that like button. You're missing a whole bunch of stuff. I already went through all the scissors. I'm going to use one of the lowest cost scissors I have and show you on day 20, you should be here. But if you're not, I gave you a realistic goal. On day 30, if you do these steps, 15-minute walk, consistent training, all with the treats, firmness on the table, which your simple lead, and your aggressive face tool. A few days later, 10 days later, you're going to be bringing in your brush. If you start at the brush in 30 days, that's fine. If it takes you that long, okay? So we've got this here. We're at the 30-day mark, maybe. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to go so good that you should be able to start doing your brushing within 10 days. I'm not going to guarantee it. It really depends on the training that you're doing, the consistency that you're doing, and your pet. And if your pet is blind or deaf, you might need a second hand, okay? It's just honest. If you just got here, hit that like button for me. Let me know you're happy by donating. Also, shop at myfavoritegroomer.com. But if you just got here, you're missing a whole a whole thing. Right, Saki? They're missing a whole thing on the scissor briefing, okay? So I'm picking my lowest cost, short, short blender shear, okay? And we already just did. What do we do? Simple lead. We did the practice like this for days. We did this for days with a treat. Days with a treat, okay? We came back. We brushed. For days with a treat. We brush for six to seven days maybe. More, maybe longer. Whatever it takes to build trust and love with this routine of yours. And this is now a daily routine, right? Nice, Aki, Aki. We just brush all this stuff out. We got love in there. Get you some loving. Because where'd that treat go? I got rid of the treat, right? Guess what? You start working the treat out later. Guess what replaces treat? Love. Love replaces the treat. I'm not 
not saying you don't go give your dog a treat, but I'm saying it, it does replace it. You don't need to have treats to train your dog, in my opinion. Treats will help them get, get there, but it's not the, the only thing. So here, okay? So now we're in that 30th day. We've already got my brush. As long as you're brushing, if you're not brushing in 30, 30 days, you are not scissoring. You are going to scissor only when you have built trust up where she's acting like he or she's acting like this. Then you can bring in the scissors because now this is dangerous. Okay? It might have been dangerous with your dog trying to bite you. So you can take your finger and you can come under this groom loop here for more control. Or you can hold this groom loop and pinch this hair here. Right? Yep. Yes, that's what all groomers do. We pinch that hair to get chin control. Or you, if you have a groom loop, like this one I have, this pink one, and I've got an arm. If you don't have an arm, you don't have the groom loop. But if you have the groom loop, you can put your finger under the groom loop here to kind of give the chin direction. Okay, and I'm going to hold. Look at all these things I have to do. Hold the turquoise. And I'm going to grab her chin hair a little bit, right? Because I don't want her popping up. Now, guess what I'm doing? I'm petting her. Just like I've been doing for a couple weeks with this thing. So this is all normal now, isn't it? She got used to it, right? Okay, so now we're here. Hmm, ooh, she's letting me do it. Hmm, this is cool. I'm not opening it, it's actually closed. Yeah, and you might do this for a day or two before you feel comfortable enough to actually take a swipe. Because I can tell you right now, some of y'all are not able to work with your dog's face during COVID-19 and you honestly have nowhere else to go. Ooh, I got that out of there. Yeah. Did I just drop that on the floor? What the heck, man? I'm at home. Get some of that. Mm-hmm. What's this? Let's get that. Yeah. So you take your, open it. I'm not going to do it by her face. Take it, open it, close it, swipe back. Open it, close it, swipe back. Okay. So here we go. We're petting her with the, with the tool. And guess what? It's not a sharp edge. So I feel a little bit more confident. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, there's a, right? Take it, open, shut it, swipe back. And since they're blenders with teeth, you're not like edge, edge. You don't, you might not. It's just a little bit safer. Not 100%. Nothing with an edge is 100% safe. Could you cut yourself? Absolutely. Are you falling asleep yourself? Yeah, good girl. Okay, you don't like that. Okay, we go back to petting. Okay, we pet you. We pet. Yeah, we're just petting you. Oh, yeah, we're petting you. We're just going to pet you. I'm just going to pet you and let you fall asleep. Just pet you and let you fall asleep. Just pet you and let you fall asleep while I trim your face. I'm just going to pet you and let you fall asleep. Oh, oh, that bothered you? I'm just going to trim you. I'm just going to pet you. I'm just going to trim you and let you fall asleep. I'm going to trim you and let you fall asleep. I'm going to trim you and let you fall asleep. I'm going to trim you and let you fall asleep. Yeah. There you go. I'm going to trim that hair right there. I'm going to trim that hair right there. I'm going to trim that hair right there out your face. I'm just going to trim you and let you fall asleep. Oh my goodness. That's my song. Don't you even copyright that. <laughs> I'm going to trim you and let you fall asleep. Oh, yeah. Woo. I'm going to trim that hair right there. I'm going to trim that hair right there. I'm going to trim oh, trim that hair right there. I'm going to trim that hair right there. Oh, yeah. We got all that hair right on your face, didn't we? Yes, we did. See what I'm saying? Is that awesome? Good dog, yeah. Good dog. Good dog. Yes, good doggy. Yeah, we're done now. You finished? Yeah? You finished? Did you have fun? We got some of that hair out of your face right there. Yeah? Did you have fun? You want to say thank you, YouTube, for watching you? Say thank you, YouTube. Hold that chin hair here. Let me trim that hair right there. Yeah. Oh, we trimmed that hair right there. 
Okay, so Saki would now get a treat, right? Boom, boom. I got a treat over here, but I don't right now. I'm not. I mean, I do right there. Let me get over there. So she would get a treat, and Brownie over here, who's looking down because he's so sad. He's like, "Can I please get up there? Can I please get up there?" And Faith, hi, baby girl. You want to get up there too? <laughs> I'm gonna trim that hair right there. Just trim that hair right there. Okay. Here we go. Say bye. Say bye, you two. You want a treat, treat? You want a treat, treat? Come here, give treat, treat. You did so good. Yes, you did. You did so good. Okay, come on. Say bye, you two. Come on. Here you go, treat, treat. Here you go. Good doggies. Yeah, good doggies. Here you go, Faith. Here you go, girl. All right, I hope you all learned something tonight. I hope you understand how important it is to have the consistency, have the exercise, and then really give yourself that reality of time that it will take to train your dog. I would love to see you have this training done in less than 30 days, but I understand life happens. So if you miss a day of walking, if you miss a day of this, if you, it's too hot to walk today, you don't have to walk outside. You can walk inside. You can walk your pet for exercise the day you're going to groom your pet inside. It just needs to be with a leash and collar on, not a harness. You need to have a leash and collar around the neck. You don't need to pull and tug unless your dog is fighting you. Then you are going to go through war to get the dog to walk properly. And there is a video. It's um, under, go to my favorite groomer and type of my favorite groomer, have an ease, uh, how to, how to get your dog to walk right during for grooming, something like that. And that is the video that you can watch at the very end. I show you like this and after that, after I showed the parent how to walk their dog and train their dog on a walk, proper walking, boom. The next groom, it was, the dog was so much easier. He didn't try to bite me. He was calmer and it was like, this is exactly what I need, participation. Because if you can't even do this at home, your groomer can't do it, you know what I mean? And we're struggling to get it done or we have to get help to get it done. So these are little tips to help you be able to touch your dog's face at home. So I hope this helped you. I have to go back and look at the donation and sing for you guys. Those of you guys who are still here, thanks a lot for being here and listening. Thanks for your donations. Thanks for hitting the like button. Woo! Be sure to share this video if you think this might help someone with their dog and their face. All right, here we go. Train your dog. Let's go look at this donation scenario. I got to sing. Thank you for your donation. Just thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Dottie O. Caspian Horse. Dot, dot, dot. To my favorite groomer. Clap, clap, clap. Woohoo! Thank you for your donation. Thank you for supporting the channel. When you donate, it makes me have motivation. It contributes to the channel. I can get different equipment. It just goes straight to what we do here at YouTube. And thank you, YouTube and Google, for letting that happen. All right. We're going to go. Don't don't you are so cute with these doggies they are so like children and you are the best mom i so wish i could bring my girls to you but i'm in south carolina love singing to them woohoo my favorite groomer please do the pause grooming next time that's my only problem with my dog you got it Dottie says, thanks, Dee Dee. Have to go pick up. Thank you so much for your donation and thank you. And uh, pick up your husband safely. The first time I used the thinning shears, I cut myself on the blade while removing hair from the teeth. Learn my lesson. Those suckers are sharp, right? Nothing's 100%. <laughs> no offense. I'm really glad it's the human, not the dog, right? We panic when it's the animal for sure. Don't. Cats are a whole different ball game, Terry. I don't know that I can teach you that over the over YouTube, but I'll try. My pups started young. They love to get wiped down, especially their faces. Saki loves you so much, even when you're being crazy. I know. She stares at me and gazes at me. I'm looking at. I'm like. I'm like. Is she sleeping? No, she's staring at me. <laughs> 
I'm glad they, Cora, I'm glad they kennel up. I think dogs should be kenneled. MP, what's up? Talk to me. Angel says, Dee Dee, she's killing me. She's behaving for you too, man. She's usually a talker, right? My only problem is grooming the paws sometimes. The out, the top of the paw or the pads. I would like to teach my dog how to listen to me when I said no or to stay still, but he doesn't listen. Okay, the leash, the collar, the same concept, consistency, daily, and firmness. Leash and collar, no harness. And then get back to me. My dogs are fine with me grooming their face. It's their feet and hiney they don't like. Oh, okay. I'll have to work on that one. Do, 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 do. Mom, you focus. <laughs> she thinks I'm nuts. I'm pretty sure she probably does. But she loves me the same. Do, 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 do. My dog would take off half of my fingers and the tree all in one bite. Ain't no licking. Oh. So then I would use my face paddle, <laughs> my face, my aggressive face tool as the treat deliverer. And I would have my treat delivery as peanut butter, very little, over to my right. I would try that. I would. You got to try something different. You have a dog named Hurry? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Really? That's cute. That's real cute. I did want to show you all something. One more thing before I go, for those of you guys who still hanging out. Okay, let me, show, let me look down at the table here. Whoop, I guess I better look that way and then do this and do that. Do you see these dog hats right here? Make sure you get one. Look how cute they are. Look how cute the dog hats are, oh my gosh. Okay, Betty, they're made by Betty. Okay, just so you guys know, these are out. They just came out from Andis. They are guards, like what, what? Guards that are just like the wall guards, what, what? And quite frankly, I'm probably gonna sell out of them. Because I haven't been able to get wall guards in for months, right? Some of you guys some of you guys know. So the new ones, this is an Andis. You can't even tell. I mean, you can. If, you, if you're me, you know. This is strong plastic here. This is really, it's a different type of plastic there. And this is going to fit on your 10 blade, 15 blade, or 30 blade. And this is the Andis version. And by the way they punctured this thing here, this thing here, um, this piece, it, I'm going to have to see, but the wall one always falls out. The, the puncture here on some of the wall guards will, like, I don't know, just, it'll fall, this thing will fall out. But this seems like an inverted punch with the dimple on the back. I, I hope that stays in. But the metal here is, it's really strong. Uh, one of my least favorite things in here is when you do the spring action. You know, you've got this spring action here, and I'm going to ruin my nails. Not that I have. I just painted these at home. But when you get this spring action, this seems just stronger. I hope it works that way, but it's the same. It's not the same. It's a different company's version of the guard. So I am really happy about them coming out with these. They, I'm selling them open box because I'll open the box and sell you one. And... Uh, if you don't want the open box, kind of sell you one thing, you can get the whole kit. I have them on sale right now. So pick those up, man. They just came in. Like, I just needed you guys to know about that. Not everyone's going to know about that right now. All right. We're out of here. Yeah, right, Renee? They're so similar. But if I see you face-to-face, -face, I'm going to tell you this is this is stronger. And I'm really glad they came out with them because wall, because of COVID-19, wall and Oster, I, I really don't know. Their turnaround is like six months. I mean, Andis is too, but Andis is a, is a high turnaround. But man, I have not been able to get Walls or Oster products for like six months. I mean, I'm not really sure what's going on. I emailed them, nothing bad. You know what I mean? Like, like no, no communication. So, woo! Anyway, interesting that they came out with those. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. It is uh, Friday night, so have a great night and enjoy Enjoy your evening, enjoy your weekend, and maybe I'll see you this weekend doing an aggressive groom. Cross your fingers. DeSoto might come out. I'm not sure yet. Oh, you guys, who watched who watched that phone call?
who, who watched that? Don't you love the after party? Who watched that phone call the other night with DeSoto? The De so with Frank. Hey, Philippines! What's up, Philippines? What's up? Oh, send me some lumpia. <laughs> Probably wouldn't even get in here, get in here in time. It would get here in time. It would be all rotted out, wouldn't it? Who watched Frank and I talk on the phone? Does anybody remember? Anybody remember? Uh, who, do you remember what kind of dog it is? Breed. The kind of breed it is. Look at my hair, man. I'm becoming Aquaman, for real. Who remembers the breed of the dog, Frank? Frank and his wife, I talked to them on the phone the other night. We talked to them extensively about sedated grooming. Who remembers the breed? Thanks, Linda. David said I had pretty nails, too. And I was like, look, man, they're not even, like, painted right. He's like, no, it's okay. Nice try, doggo. It's pretty close. No. Come on. It's it's right there. Who remembers the breed? No. No. Come on. A couple more. Who remembers the breed of this dog that, that wants to come in? No one can groom it. It's been sedated. They, the vet said we can't sedate it anymore. You got to find someone to groom the dog. Thanks, Florinda. No, 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 no. Isn't it? Y'all don't even remember. Were you guys watching? Isn't it funny? Um, there's like the brain game to help you remember things and to help you think faster, think on your toes, think on the spot. That game on the app, app store, that game is, I, I, I recommend it. It's free. But you can only do one game a day if it's free. You can pay for it and then do however many you want. But it's called like the brain game, I think. I played that game for years. It is a Lhasa Apso. Who, who remembers that? Now that I said it, who's, who's like, oh, yeah, a Lhasa. I was like, it's a Lhasa. Who's... <laughs> Maru. Who remembers that now that I've said it, the Lhasa? It's a female lasso that no one can touch and her face is right there and she's all matted on the, you know, no one. To... You were going to say that, Patty? Who remembers it, though? As soon as I said it, they were like, yes, I remember that. Do you remember now? I was like, that's a lasso. And it was the only dog that ever bit me in my when I was a child was a lasso. Opso. Do you guys? Um, what was I going to say? Um, do you guys know what happened today? What was supposed to happen today? Did you? No, you guys have no idea. You wouldn't know that. So we had a phone conversation later, okay? So we did that video together, the sedated live video with you guys, with Frank and his wife about grooming this dog. They want to drive from DeSoto, like at least an hour drive. And the dog has been sedated for grooming. It's gotten to the point where they can't sedate anymore due to, right? The veterinarian said we can't sedate anymore. They need to find a groomer. They search for one. They found me on YouTube. This is where we're at with it. So they were supposed, and so this is why I don't make appointments unless I can see the veterinarian paperwork. So if you don't have your veterinarian records that I can see your current, even though you tell me you're going to go in today for, I don't, I don't make any appointments until you've made your appointment. I mean, until you show me the vaccinations are current. Why? So they drove to the veterinarian today at three o'clock. He said, Dee Dee. Oh gosh. He said, Dee Dee, we did a live event late at night. The next day I called them. Are you arching your back? <laughs> Are you arching your back like a bird? Oh, am I making fun of you? I don't want to make fun of you. No. Do, 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 do. Oh, you don't see it? He's like totally touching my shoulder. Oh, gosh. Okay. So I called him the next day and I was like, hey, what are we going to do? You know, this is what it is. Is this okay with you? These are the rules during the COVID-19, this and that. And he says, yes, we're down with all that. And I said, okay, these are the vaccinations I need. 
And he's like, okay, we're cool. We need to get those. Because I think on the phone he says she's due for her vaccinations, right? So they're going to get vaccinations. He goes, we're going to, I already made an appointment. She's going in Friday, which is today, to get the vaccinations. And guess what happened? You won't believe it. Just, just guess. Guess what happened? <laughs> Are you arching like a bird still? Like, seriously. <laughs> what happened guess what happened i'm waiting on some answers man literally are you like totally laying backwards here man the appointment was canceled no wasn't canceled come on we're waiting he wants to snuggle, man. Dog had fleas. Nope. <laughs> what are you doing, man? No papers. Nope. No, it wasn't the grooming appointment. He went to the vet today. He went to the veterinarian today. What happened at the veterinarian today? You won't believe it. Go ahead. What do you think happened at the veterinarian? He had an appointment. <laughs> Laura. Pretty close. Pretty close, Laura. You're going to lay your head back all the way? Lay it back all the way. Okay. <laughs> no, the vet didn't get bit. Close, though. Close. Any more guesses? <laughs> the dog always bites Frank. He said he always gets bit by that dog. This is scary stuff. This is the type of conversations I'm having to groom the dog. <laughs> Possibly, Kathy. The dog was actually human. <laughs> oh my gosh. Too aggressive. That's right. The dog was, this is what, so I was anticipating Frank. I said, Frank, when you get to the vet and you get the vaccinations, done, just text me a picture. And I know you're serious and I know I'm serious and we've already had our hour discussion. And Rebecca, you already watched that left-handed stuff? Wow, she came out of the blue with that stuff, right? Cool. Oh, she's so, I'm just so in love with you, man. Okay, I gotta focus here. Come here, I'll be right there. He's like, well, can we please go snuggle? I'm left-handed. Yes, I did have to use right-handed elementary school until my parents went out and bought left-handed pair. Okay, right there. I just want you guys to know, if you have a left-handed child, I want you to go find left-handed scissors for them. I'm not joking. If you have a left-handed child or you know a left-handed child or you have a teacher that you talk to, I want you to tell that teacher to tell their students, to tell their parents to go buy them left-handed scissors. They don't know any better. I know, and I don't have children, but I'm telling you, if you have children or if you know a teacher, tell your teacher to do a briefing or let the parents know in a, like an email that says, hey, you guys, if you have a left-handed student, please take the time to go buy left-handed scissors for your student and write Dremel, if you have a Dremel from me, Dremel their name on the scissor because it is a more expensive scissor. It is cut to the left for the blade is cut to the left when it's made for a left-handed person. And it's going to be more expensive, but it's going to be so gent much more gentle on your left-handers, okay? Please pass this on. I mean, this, who knew this? Did you know it? Anyways, at the veterinarian's office, Frank did not get veterinarian the vaccinations done. Why? The dog was too aggressive she wasn't having it she was not gonna let anyone touch her she wasn't gonna let anybody groom her now i have to or, or groom her she wasn't gonna let anybody touch her or touch get any a hold like she could not get she couldn't even get vaccinations done are you hearing me so frank said dd i'm really sorry we didn't get vaccinations done so we're going to go back tomorrow and try to have our regular veterinarian because there was a stand in veterinarian there. We're going to have our regular veterinarian try to do the vaccinations. Now, I just have to say with this face is that David better be ready. Okay. 
But if your dog won't even, so this is going to be really interesting that the veterinarian and the veterinarian staff, because I'm not staffed like that, could not touch or control the dog to give it its vaccinations. And I just want you to know, God be with me and that dog as we attempt to move further it along with trying to work with the dog on being groomed. This will be really interesting. But let me also remind you that everything I said in this video, some things I have not shared ever, the left-handed thing, that's a whole video I want to do that I haven't had time to do yet. But I want you to understand, there's the veterinarian that they went to today that was a stand-in and they couldn't get the vaccinations done. They couldn't get the vaccinations done and I've got to get out of here. They couldn't get the vaccinations done, right? Bear with me. But the veterinarian at the same office will be there, the, uh, the regular veterinarian at the same office that they go to that will be there tomorrow will try to do it because that, that veterinarian has always been able to do vaccinations on that dog. Two veterinarians, two different experiences, and we will see if they're, like this veterinarian has always been able to do the vaccinations, but two different groomers, two different ways to do things, and one can get it done and one can't. Two different veterinarians, same office, and one has been able to do it and one hasn't. So that goes with the same concept that you should use through your life. That you can go and say, well, that guy down the road is cheaper. Well, whoa, whoa, whoa. Two different people, two different things, same career, different experiences can change the dynamics of a groom. Yeah. I hear it all the time. That dog doesn't like you. You should not do this. this and that. Yeah, but I can accomplish the job. Whereas two different groomers, two different experiences, one can do it and one cannot. And that goes with everything, your doctors, your dentists, your freaking tire people, your freaking dealerships, your ev everything across the board. You know what I'm talking about. I don't have to explain, you know, the same people doing the lawn, one dot does it, one guy doesn't blow it off. One guy's fast, one guy's slow, you know, okay? But um, someone who said something, I gotta go, my phone's gonna die and I'm gonna lose everything. But I knew people in school who got their hands hit and they used their left hand, so they learned to use their right hand, wow, right? Talk about like force them to do something. I was left-handed until my teacher said that was improper. And if I used my left hand, I would get in trouble. Oh my gosh, what? I'm gonna smack somebody, man. That's just freaking ridiculous. No offense. I mean like, what? Oh, your blonde hair. If you don't dye your hair by tomorrow, you can't come to this school. So, um, so I think someone said, I agree. I so totally agree with you on left-handed scissors. I suffered many years until I made the change to lefty scissors. Thank you, Alan. Alan, I've missed you. So Alan, I missed you. And then Walter, I remember now that difference. I was like, I'm missing somebody here. Walter, thank you for hanging out when you're here. I don't know that Walter's here right now, but if I'm going to say this one last time to kind of wrap it up in case anybody just got here. Alan, if you missed everything, go rewatch. You missed a whole thing on scissors. But this is the big thing about this. Okay, first of all, the training on the face. Walk your dog. Exercise is key. Walk your dog immediately before grooming your dog. Go back and watch the health part. Two, consistency. Do it every day for at least 30 days. Okay, consistency. And then getting the job done. So step by step, the first day, the first chance you're able to brush, you're doing that for a while. The first chance you're able to do this, you're doing that for a while. The next chance you're able to use the scissors, you're going to be... Your home run there, baby, because if you're using the scissors, we're just moving forward, right? We're just going to keep moving forward. All right, next thing. If you know someone, if you have a child, if you have a teacher or friend, tell your teacher to tell the students, to tell their parents, to if I'm left-handed, please go get me left-handed scissors. And then Dremel your name on it. Dremel your child's name on it so no one takes it because those are more expensive scissors. You go out of your way to buy them including with a groomer. If you're left-handed, eventually save up and get a left-handed scissor. It's gonna be much more lighter and gentler on your hand in the long run. So I have a lot of left-handed scissors. Why? There was a groomer in Australia who said, Didi, we can't get them here. And I said, I was like, I, I spent a lot of money on those left-handed scissors. 
I don't sell very many of them, which tells me there's a lot of left-handed scissor groomers that are not using left-handed scissors. And I want you to know they're there for a reason. You just have to look for them. They have a different cutting edge. Okay, go back and rewatch the video. I don't want to repeat myself to those of you who have been here through the whole video. So thank you so much for watching. Check us out at myfavoritegroomer.com. If, if you learned something really valuable in this video, share it. Make sure people know. And that way I can reach more people in my time here on earth, okay? I love you guys. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Those who donated, thank you for your donations. It means a lot to me. It helps us keep the feed going and helps me understand that you are happy with the content you're receiving. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Woo Shop at myfavoritegroomer.com. And don't forget, the new Andis guards are here and they are really, really affordable, okay? Go pick them up before I run out. Love you guys. Oh, and by the way, the Andis five speeds are in stock and your favorite spray bottles, the, it's called rainbow. I think the, anyway, rainbow one, that's my favorite and the ocean one, they're in stock and they, it took six months to get here. So what I have, I mean, just go pick one up if you want one before they're gone. All right, I love you guys. And this is just so you know, it's August 21st, 2020. So if this is being watched like 10 years from now, I don't even know what's going to happen then. But just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah. Woo. Hit the like button. 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 Just hit the like button. Hit the like button. Woohoo. Just hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Woohoo. Thank you so much. Love you guys. We'll see you soon.